Have you ever wondered how the world's richest people spend their money? What are the extravagant toys billionaires indulge in? Imagine the life of unimaginable wealth, where money is no object and every day is a new opportunity for indulgence. Super yachts, private jets, luxury cars, art collections, and even private islands. These are just some of the playthings that define the billionaire lifestyle. The world of the uber-rich is a spectacle of opulence and grandeur, a realm few get to witness. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of billionaire toys. Starting our countdown, at number 10, we have the super yachts. These luxurious floating palaces are not just boats, they're a statement of opulence and power. Super yachts are designed with every conceivable comfort in mind, from expansive sun decks to infinity pools, helicopter pads to private cinemas, these vessels are the epitome of luxury. The cost of such extravagance? It can range anywhere from a cool $20 million to a staggering $400 million, depending on the size and the amenities. And it's not just the initial price tag that's staggering. The annual upkeep can cost millions as well. Some of the world's wealthiest individuals are known to possess these floating marvels. Russian tycoon Roman Abramovich, for instance, owns the Eclipse, a 533-foot superyacht equipped with two helicopter pads and a mini-submarine. Meanwhile, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen was the proud owner of Octopus, a 413-foot vessel with a recording studio and a basketball court. A floating mansion indeed. Moving on to our next billionaire toy. At number 9, it's not just the seas, but the skies that billionaires rule with their private jets. When it comes to luxury travel, Nothing quite compares to the opulence of private jets. These aren't just any aircraft. We're talking about flying palaces equipped with the finest amenities money can buy. From master bedrooms with king-sized beds, fully equipped kitchens, to personal theaters, these jets redefine the meaning of luxury. Private jets aren't just about comfort, though. They're about power and convenience. Imagine skipping the long lines at the airport, dictating your own flight schedule and landing in less crowded, more exclusive airports. These airborne marvels can cost anywhere from tens to hundreds of millions of dollars. Among the billionaires who own these incredible machines are business magnates like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson, each with their own unique custom-tailored jets. Billionaires surely know how to travel in style. Let's see what's next on our list. On number eight, we have the ultimate status symbols, luxury cars. These aren't just your everyday vehicles. They are masterpieces of engineering, lavished with the finest leathers, precious woods, and state-of-the-art technology. Packed with high-performance engines, these cars don't just look glamorous. They deliver a driving experience that is second to none. We're talking about brands like Bugatti, Rolls-Royce, and Lamborghini. Cars that cost anywhere from a few hundred thousand to several million dollars. They're not just for getting from point A to B, they're for making a statement. And it's not just the cost of these cars that's staggering. The billionaires who own them are often as famous as the cars themselves. Tech tycoon Elon Musk is known for his Tesla lineup. And who could forget the Sultan of Brunei, whose collection of Rolls Royces is legendary. Driving in luxury, billionaires do know how to make an entrance, but wait till you see what's next. Coming in at number seven, it's the billionaire's love for the finer things in life. Art collections. These aren't just for show, they're investments. Art collections can appreciate over time, sometimes even outstripping the performance of traditional investments like stocks and real estate. The cost of these collections can range from a few million to hundreds of millions of dollars or even more. Notable billionaires like Eli Broad, Francois Pinot, and Steve Cohen have amassed collections that are the envy of museums worldwide. From Renaissance masterpieces to contemporary works, these collections reflect not only the personal tastes of their owners, but also their profound appreciation for the creative brilliance of artists. Art, for them, is not just an investment or a status symbol. It's a passion. A passion for beauty, for creativity, and for the human spirit that drives artistic expression. Billionaires surely have an eye for beauty, but what could be more extravagant than art? At number six, we have the most opulent homes on the planet, luxury real estate. These aren't just homes. They're more akin to palaces with every imaginable comfort and luxury. 
From sprawling gardens and Olympic-sized swimming pools to private movie theaters and helipads, these homes are the epitome of grandeur. The price tag? Well, it can easily run into hundreds of millions of dollars. A case in point is the One Hyde Park in London, which costs around $160 million. Then there's the Antilia in Mumbai, a 27-story skyscraper home worth a staggering $1 billion. And who are the proud owners of these lavish properties? You guessed it, billionaires. Like Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison's Japanese-inspired estate in California, or Bill Gates's tech-filled mansion in Washington. But these are more than just homes. They're a testament to the extraordinary wealth and refined tastes of these billionaires, living like a king, quite literally. But the list doesn't end here. Halfway through our list, at number five, we have private islands. The ultimate symbol of luxury and exclusivity, these personal paradises provide their owners with unparalleled privacy and a retreat from the world. They are blank canvases on which billionaires can create their dream getaway, be it a tropical paradise, a wildlife sanctuary, or a luxurious resort. The cost of these islands can range from a few million to over $100 million, depending on their size, location, and amenities. Billionaires like Richard Branson, Johnny Depp, and Larry Ellison have all splurged on these secluded sanctuaries, creating their own personal havens away from prying eyes. Owning a private island is not just about the land, but also the freedom it offers, the freedom to escape, to create, to relax, and to explore. It's about owning a piece of the world that is truly yours, a paradise of their own, but there's more to come. At number four, we have the final frontier, space travel. For those with a taste for the extraordinary, why limit luxury to the confines of our planet? Space travel offers an unmatched experience, a chance to gaze upon the cosmos, to float in zero gravity, to marvel at the beauty of our home planet from miles above. Space tourism comes with a hefty price tag. A trip to the International Space Station via SpaceX's Crew Dragon costs around $55 million. Yes, you heard it right. $55 million for a 10-day trip. Now that's what we call a high-end vacation. In recent years, billionaires like Sir Richard Branson, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos have not only indulged in space travel, but they're also investing in it. Their companies, Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin, respectively, are at the forefront of the commercial space tourism industry. Exploring the universe billionaire style, but what could possibly top this? At number three, we have the ultimate power play, owning sports teams. Yes, we're talking about the billionaires who don't just cheer from the sidelines, they own the game. The cost of owning a sports team can range from hundreds of millions to over a billion dollars, but for the ultra wealthy, it's a price worth paying for the prestige and influence it brings. Take American business magnate Steve Ballmer, for example, who purchased the Los Angeles Clippers for an eye-watering $2 billion or Roman Abramovich, the Russian billionaire who's been the proud owner of the English Premier League team Chelsea FC since 2003. These aren't just purchases, they're statements of power and passion, a way to leave a mark on the world of sports. Owning a sports team is about more than just business, it's about joining an exclusive club, a testament to their success, playing the game like a boss. But wait, there's more. At number two, we have the eternal symbols of luxury, diamonds, and precious stones. These glistening treasures of the earth have been capturing hearts and displaying affluence for centuries. Diamonds and precious stones are not just beautiful, they're an investment. Their value often appreciates over time, making them a favored asset among the world's billionaires. From the rare blue diamonds to the coveted pink ones, the cost of these stones can run into millions of dollars. Take the pink star diamond, for example. This stunning gemstone sold for a whopping $71 million, setting a record for the most expensive jewel ever sold at auction. And let's not forget the Graf Pink, a stunning diamond bought by billionaire Lawrence Graf for a cool $46 million. Billionaires like Lawrence Graf, Lillianne Betancourt, and Bernard Arnault are known for their magnificent collections of these dazzling treasures, bling like a billionaire. But what could possibly be at number one? And finally, at number one, we have the most priceless of all, legacy and philanthropy. This is not simply a toy, rather it's an investment in the future, an investment in humanity. For billionaires, their wealth is more than just material possessions. It's a tool to shape the world, 
to leave a lasting legacy, to make a difference. Philanthropy is a testament to their commitment to the betterment of society. From funding research for life-threatening diseases to providing scholarships for underprivileged students, their contributions are making a significant impact. Their actions echo the sentiment that true wealth is not measured by what you have, but by what you give. Moreover, these philanthropic endeavors are not just an act of charity, but also a strategic move to shape their legacy, a legacy that will outlive them, a legacy of giving back and making a difference. And there you have it, the most extravagant billionaire toys. It's not just about the money, but the legacy they leave behind.